Today, we're going to be putting a $250 KYT Convair helmet against the $850 Shoei Neo Tech 2. Hey bro, where's the helmet? What you learn, bro? Bro. Wow! <laughs> Got three bikes, wah. Why ask me come to you? Wait, wait, wait. Uncle, you 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 selling your bike, ah? Eh, eh, uncle, you not sell, ah? No, ah. Today is the best day of my life. My brother take my bike go change tire. My cousin take my bike go inspection. My friend take my bike go servicing. Let it. Anything happen, go cover. Of course! That's why I have my Direct Asia Any Rider Optional Benefit. With that, you can share your motorcycle with anybody. Makes your life so much easier. Oh, by the way, don't forget the triple three very okay promo code when you buy your motorcycle insurance from Direct Asia. It is very okay. Let's take a look at the Shoei Neo Tech 2. One of my favorite helmets, modular. My favorite. So the Neo Tech 2 is made out of AIM. Uh, it's basically a fiberglass composite. So first look, you can tell it has some improved features. Uh, a little bit more, how to say, slick design here and there. The air I think they made, it more, they made it more aerodynamic also, right? Yes. If you look closely, the way the visor hinge works, it actually pulls the visor in so that you get that proper seal. You know, so that, that, that means lesser wind noise and more aerodynamic. I don't think it means what you think it means. We've got two air vents here. One is at the top where you can open and close. One is of course at the front. And then one at the back where the air comes out from. To miss the helmet fart lah. Helmet fart. Air goes in, air must come out. The thing about all these modular helmets right, is that if you can't open and close it easily, right, then you have the problem of, you know, when you're riding, you want to open the visor, then you have to use your other hand to support the helmet when you open or else your helmet will just go full. Yeah. So I like this thing, I like this thing a lot. It's very easy to open and close. Okay, next we have the KYT Convair. Let's take a look at the helmet. Okay, the very first thing when you pick up a helmet, you want to know how it feels, right? So we tried it with the Shoei. Flashback. Let's try it with this one. Is it a... Why not? Not just not more black you now, like... Yeah. Break it in. The KYT Convair is made from thermoplastic and is certified CEE. -E, uh, what? CEE -E, -E, what? ECE. ECE. -E. Why I say I CEE? -E, yeah. -E, yeah. <laughs> Mine is even cooler than ECE. -E. Mine is JIS certified. Why cooler? Because inside the helmet, there is the name of the person who inspected the helmet. How cool is that? Japanese name. <laughs> So what you're telling me is you're spending $600 more on that helmet so that you can have a Japanese furless name inside the helmet? No la! Then? I don't know eh. That's why you go to the first test. A major concern when buying modular helmets is the rigidity of the chin bars. Whether or not it will open upon impact, we are here to find out. Bro. Does this feel familiar? So for this test, we are taking this thing, decided to upgrade it from a golf club, right? We're gonna put it down on the floor, we're gonna be striking the chin bar, not straight on, but from here, to see if the mechanism holds. No panchan no, 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 This one also pain cost KYT. <laughs> oh, now we, we will destroy that pen, destroy this, destroy that. Now destroy Shoei. Wow. Ready for Shoei? <laughs> Round two! Fight! I think I never hit high enough, so this time. I'm gonna swing a bit harder. I 
I try my best. Finish him! Wow, ah. oh, quite solid. Eh? Round two, showing your tech two. Fight! <laughs> oh, chin curtain. Chin, chin curtain fell out. Looks like I can come on. But more importantly, can open up. No problem. No problem. I don't believe Amos hit hard enough. You know what you want to try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try. I really want to try. Sound, sound, style. Right? I'm going to swing it a lot harder. Should I stay here? I don't know, bro. Ready? Okay, fair. From this, you can tell, right? Triple's three true passion actually not motorcycles. We like to smash helmet. We like to destroy anything and everything. So in this test, we're going to be testing the abrasion resistance of the helmet with our trusty sander. Okay, what we're going to do is to put the sender on the helmet, I am not going to press down. I'm going to put it there and leave it there for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, starting from now. So the sender keeps bouncing off the helmet. What we're going to try to do is one, use a different spot, right? And then two, I am not going to to just leave the weight of the grinder, ah, uh, sorry, the sender. I'm gonna try to lift it up just ever so slightly so it stops bouncing. This time round, we're gonna change it to five seconds. Just five seconds. Okay, five seconds from now. <laughs> so cute. Like a baluku. Okay, next one. Joey's turn now. Five seconds, starting from now. <laughs> Why does it look like quite nice? Uh? <laughs> okay, you've seen that. You've seen this. Onward to the next test. Okay, so this is the stuff of nightmares. This is when we cut straight through the helmet so we can see what's on the inside. Let's go. This is the triple tree man. Triple tree always make sure safety is number one priority. So mark this where your safety goggles. In Singapore, you know what we say? Lan Lan. Thank you, Mr. Triple Tree Man. Just kidding, it's just me, Amos. I'm wearing the triple tree balaclava and the triple tree armsock. Get yours at our merchant stores. Going in three, two. Oh, there it goes. Is it the cushion holding it together? Oh, yeah. One down, one more to go. Triple three men says, do not try this at home. No, only triple three men say, I also say don't try this at home. Open the ring. Okay. Liu Lian, Liu Lian, Liu Lian. Wow, this one, the whole thing half. Use a metal wire here. I will cut. Now it's in half. The chain bar still works. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think we should stop cutting up shit. Before we started the test, we took the helmets out for a ride. And then uh, we, we tested both helmets actually, each of us. The same helmets. What right. did you think of the helmets? Uh, for me, I am 
a showy user, right? So I know how the helmet should perform. I'm on the older, new tech. Then uh, when I tried the KYT, the very first thing that came to me was how creaky the helmet sounded. You know? I hate that. You know? Yeah, you put on it, you hear the crack, crack you're like, mm, right, okay. Then the second thing I noticed was the sound it made, uh, or the sound of both helmets they make when they when we close the chin bar. So for Shoei, it sounds almost like an Audi. You close the door, it's like, Krr. it's just that solid sound. With this one, it, it sounded a little bit more plasticky. Uh, Shoei, yes, it's it's quieter. It is quite a quiet helmet. KYT, I felt, didn't provide any sound isolation whatsoever. It actually felt like it was very airy. Very open, right? Yeah, like, almost like very open. Like you don't get the, when, you, when, when I wore the Shoei helmet, it felt like, you know, it's very uh, tight and, and compact. It sounded like the sound outside was like a bit muffled. Yeah. A bit blocked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For I mean, the KYT, it's not, it, it's like quite, quite airy. I don't know how to say it. Quite transparent, I think that, that is the correct word. In the sledgehammer test, Shoei wasn't affected at all, right? Uh, for KYT, there was, we found it a little bit hard to close at first. Then wriggle, wriggle, then managed to close, open, then close, so it was okay. Um, that is still kind of like a pass. I think to be fair, to be fair, it performed pretty well. Uh, mm, for correct. both helmets. So in the abrasion test, granted it's not a lot of abrasion, it's not like one or two minutes long, but both shells survived and the sender didn't go through them, which is what we want to see in the helmet. So in the final part of the test, we actually cut out the helmets in two, like we always do. And then we found that uh, when you look at the width, the thickness of the foam, uh, for the showy one, it was one and three quarter inch, whereas the KYT one, it's one and a half inch. So it's a little bit, uh, KYT one is a little bit thinner, little bit. And we found that it was um, a lot easier to break the foam in half when we tried to take it apart. And another thing I noticed with KYT, there is another insert that is supposed to go on the top of your head, right? It's with showy, it's all one piece. This is two piece, right? Also, for the helmet, can I get that one? Uh, we noticed this uh, after we cut it up, but showy has got cutouts for your intercom speakers already in. KYT does not. This is something I realized when I was using the grinder on the helmets. Uh, it was a bit difficult to cut through showy, and I believe because it's they use fiberglass to make the shell. For KYT, it's thermoplastic. So with fiberglass, you've got fiberglass. Overall, in my opinion, actually I've always had this question, you know, whether should I should I spend like eight hundred dollars on a helmet when I can get a decent helmet with uh, decent safety protection for like two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. But after trying these two helmets, I honestly, when when you get to try the two helmets side by side, you get to really feel like the difference in the small things. You know, like the comfort. Um, you know, like how how the visor, the sun visor, goes up and down. How it feels when you open the chin bar and down. All the small, small little things that make me feel like, eh, maybe I don't really mind spending a bit more on a helmet. So I feel that both helmets are very decent helmets, right? If you want to come and explore the world of modular helmets, but don't want to spend that kind of money on premium stuff, $800, $900, $1,000, then sure, get one of these, try them out, right? If you think you like modular or you think you want to upgrade, sure, why not? If you want to get yourself the KYT Convair or the Shoei Neotech 2, Links are in the description. If neither of these helmets fit your taste, head on down to Carousel where they have a whole load of options. Also, remember to check out our new merchandise on our merchant stores. Get yours today. And with that, I'm Amos. And I'm Mark. See you on the road. See you on the road. Who you like? Yeah, I, I suddenly thought of Triple Tree Man. <laughs> <laughs>